Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have a joking comment for you about an ascension gift of astral geolocation. I call it my astral geolocator. And uh, sometimes, sometimes when we hear the astral stories on the astral plane, you know, we think we know the location, the people that are involved, and more likely than not, it's, it's nothing to do with that. And I call that a fault of my astral geolocator, and I thought I'd give you an example of that. It was at the beginning of November, about the 5th of November, I started hearing astral stories that were just crowding around. And no matter where I was, it seemed like there were astral stories about, this is really grisly, about bodies being cut up and put into dumpsters. And my astral geolocator short-circuited and went to my own dumpsters, you know, look in my own dumpsters and make sure nobody's trying to pin this wrap on me. And I remember uh, trash was due to be collected a couple days later, and I checked the day before trash was due. I checked three times in my dumpsters to make sure that there was nothing untoward in the dumpsters. It was all clear, and the trash was collected just as it ought to be. And then I looked in the Patch newspaper for Los Angeles, and it talked about um, the the day that the I think it was the day that the trash was collected. They talked about finding a dismembered portion of a body in a dumpster, not in my area, but far from my area. Thank God. And and then they talked about some day laborers that had been hired to take the body parts to the dump the prior day and had realized what was going on and come back to the place they came from and and refused to do the work, which I heartily recommend. So the thing that I learned from all this is that when really gruesome things are happening out there somewhere in the world, you know, it sets up a disturbance in the force, as they say on Star Wars, a very serious disturbance in the force, and that's because God, our source, is love and light and joy and peace. And these actions, these actions in this realm of duality are very far astray from that. The whole idea of, of killing someone's wife and, and father-in-law and mother-in-law and cutting them up and putting them in a dumpster is just not something that I would recommend to get in good with God, you know? It's, it's the opposite. And so there's a big disturbance in the newosphere when these kinds of things happen. And we who are light workers and, and dedicated to the healing of humankind are especially susceptible to this awful stuff, you know. And, and everyone on earth today is very, because of the newspaper headlines, especially the patch for Los Angeles, we find out there's all kinds of things going on in the world today that threaten our survival. And so when we get the, the astral intel, when we, the astral geolocator short circuits into protecting ourselves instead of looking out there and trying to find out the real McCoy, we could never be detectives like those psychic detective stories on, t on the internet and on the movies at night. We could never do anything like that because we have an interest in staying alive, you know. And and the geolocator knows this and it, it tries to indicate to us the actions we have to take to make sure that the awful things happening in the world aren't happening directly in our neighborhood. So I'm happy to say this is a very quiet neighborhood here. Thank God. And uh, my geolocator is once more on the fritz. And so when we hear astral intel, I think the takeaway is those of us who can hear astral intel, we need to take it with a grain of salt because the location and the people that we think are, t are involved in this are probably not involved. It's probably somewhere far afield. Some people, I was chatting on the, on the astral airs about this, and some people call this our 
our disambiguation feature. <laughs> so you can take your you can take your pick. You could say uh, our astral geolocator, an ascension gift, or our disambiguation device. Well, that's all for now, dear one. So. I'm asking you, when you hear things on the astral plane, you see things written in the news, whatever it is, try not to take it personally because it's probably just a symptom of the times, don't you know? And if it does pertain to us, it's because of the synchronicities that God sets up so that we can realize more fully His divine grace and His divine wisdom. Well, that's all for now. God bless you all, keep you safe, and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Clackett. I am of the stars, and so are you. See you next time. My website is Awakening with Planet Earth. HTTPS colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. See you there.